Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Because of the high voltage and high current used by microwave ovens, be aware that repairing this appliance poses a substantial risk for injury or death if precautions are not taken. You should always unplug the microwave before you attempt any disassembly. Since high voltage capacitors used in microwaves may retain a charge even after the microwave has been unplugged, we recommend that only experienced professionals access and replace internal components. To replace the cooling fan motor in your microwave oven, you will need to uninstall the appliance. Have an assistant support the microwave while you remove the mounting bolts from the upper cabinet. Carefully tilt the microwave down and pull the power cord through the hole in the cabinet. Now lift the microwave off of the rear mounting bracket and set it on a sturdy surface resting on a towel or blanket. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two mounting screws securing the grill. With the screws unthreaded, open the oven door then slide the grill to the left and lift it up to remove. If still in place, remove the glass turntable and support. Now tip the microwave so it rests on its back panel and release the bottom panel by unthreading the mounting screws. Disconnect the wire harness. Release the wires from the twist retainer and you can fully remove the bottom panel. Return the microwave to its upright position and remove all of the screws securing the cabinet. You will need to use a T20 tamper-proof Torx bit screwdriver to remove the bottom screws on the left and right sides. Carefully remove the cabinet. To avoid injury, you should release the potentially stored electrical charge in the capacitor. You can do this by using needle nose pliers with an insulated handle to touch both terminals simultaneously. Be very careful not to touch the metal portion of the tool. Next, remove the control panel mounting screw. Lift the control panel up to detach. Use a small flathead screwdriver to help pry off the cooling fan blade. Note the orientation of the fan motor wires, then depress the locking tab, if necessary, and disconnect the wires. Now remove the screws securing the cooling fan motor support bracket. Carefully rotate the bracket so you can access the fan motor mounting screws. Use a short Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws. Remove the old motor. Install the new cooling fan motor by aligning it on the support bracket. Then thread the screws to secure.
Realign the support bracket and secure it with the screws. Connect the wires to the appropriate terminals on the new motor. Slide the fan blade onto the motor shaft. Now insert the control panel tabs into the slots in the frame and push the panel down. Replace the mounting screw to secure. Confirm that the power cord is secured in the bracket. Then reinstall the cabinet. Make sure the tabs on the sides of the cabinet align with the frame. Replace the screws to secure the cabinet. Rest the microwave on its back panel. Reinstall the bottom panel by first reconnecting the wire harness. Then secure the wires in the twist retainer. Fully reposition the bottom panel and secure it with the screws. Return the microwave to its upright position. Make sure the charcoal filter is properly aligned. Then replace the grill by inserting the tabs into the slots in the frame. Slide the grill to the right and rethread the mounting screws. Now carefully reposition the microwave on the mounting bracket by hooking the back edge of the appliance on the bracket tabs. Insert the power cord through the hole in the upper cabinet. Lift the microwave up and secure the mounting bolts. Plug the power cord back in. Replace the turntable and support, and your microwave oven should be ready for use.